and that was the one we couldn't overcome. And there was a kind of a series of, of um, you know, mis mistakes, not necessarily mistakes on our part, but, but plays that went against us. Um, and, and they, they uh, you know, they did what they've done to people all year long. They just did it to us late in the game instead of early in the game. They just scored points in bunches and, and finished us. Storm in the third quarter seemed to be 90, 91. Uh, how hard was it for you guys to block those guys? It seemed like it was, he had almost no time there in the second half. Yeah, well, you know, the plan was just to be balanced and keep them from just being able to pin their ears back and small blood in the water. And uh, we did a really good job of managing that. When we got down two scores, we became a little bit more one-dimensional. Uh, we still wanted to make an effort to run the football, but they knew and we both knew that we were going to have to throw the ball to get back in the game. And that's when it really unraveled on us. And, and it's difficult given the front they play. It's di difficult to get your tackles help on the edge uh, against guys like that. And, and it, they made it very difficult on us. They're, they're great players. Tony Salazar is the best defensive coordinator um, in, in the state of Texas, and uh, maybe next to ours. Ours does a really good job too. Maybe they're the two best in the state of Texas, and uh, you know, and he did a great job scheming us there in the second half. Did you feel like they were able to wear your defense down a little bit in the second half and able to break yeah. a couple of big plays? Yeah, well, I think you know, clearly coming out of halftime, you know, their goal was to run the football and try to run right at us, and they, they've got the massive offensive line. Uh, two good backs, and uh, you know they had success doing that. And yeah, we got a little bit tired, I think, in the second half. Jackson, how are you better? You know, not necessarily physically, but mentally, as a junior compared to when you had to play in this game two years ago. Um, I think two years ago it was kind of just a situation I was thrown into. You know, no preparation for it at all. I think kind of this whole year, kind of leading the team, uh, definitely prepared me for a game like this. Taking back off of that, you said, you know, you're a little bit more mentally there. Uh, you're more of a leader on this team. Did they, has the game slowed down for you compared to when you were kind of thrown into that moment from two years ago? Um, it's definitely, uh, especially after that state championship game, I kind of noticed against uh, Hebron the next year, everything just came, seemed kind of slower, uh, slower pace, just because I'm kind of, I'm more mentally focused, you know. Coach, I'm sure there's a lot of things that you can point to that you're proud of for your team, but. Can you talk a little bit about Jackson and, and how he performed tonight and, you know, especially early on moving the chains, not only throwing the ball, but, you know, getting out of, you know, some really tough situations in the backfield to scramble for first downs, keep the chains moving. I mean, it, it seemed like for a, a good stretch there, it was, it was all on his shoulders to keep the chains moving, and he did a fantastic job. Well, you know, part of our goal is to give him the opportunity. A lot of the times it, it may look a little bit like a scramble, but a lot of the times it's a, it's a post-snap decision. We've got a place to throw it, and if the throw's no good, then we run it. We're blocking his scheme up front running it. And so he just did a great job tonight making decisions. Um, you know, sometimes when he threw the ball, sometimes when he pulled it and ran it, did a great job of, of making decisions and then moving the chains. Just talk about how you guys were able to bounce back from that block time early on and, and get in the game and take a lead. Yeah, so, you know, we've been resilient all year. We've, we've been in some tight spots before where, again, the, the tide sort of stemmed against us, and um, uh, it, it, it has not affected us all year. So I, I love the demeanor of our sideline. After that happened, nobody was shaken by it. Nobody was hanging their head. Nobody was, was griping. Uh, we just, it was just a ripple in the water, and we just kept on moving it. And I was really proud of the fact that just a few minutes later, we're up in the game seven to six. Coach, this was Todd Dodge's last game. I'm sure you've seen him and known him for a long time. Your thoughts of uh, his accomplishments? Well, you know, there, you could probably count on one hand the number of high school coaches in the state of Texas in the history of high school football in Texas that have had the impact on the game that Coach Dodge has had. And, uh, you know, in his time at South Lake and his time at West Lake, uh, really unparalleled. And um, he's made the, the game of football in Texas, he's changed it for the better. He's made it a better game uh, for, for the career that he's had. You know, a minute ago, you were just talking about how a lot of your plays uh, was either a decision for Jackson to throw it or, or run it. Can you talk about the trust that you've got in your quarterback and, and just how much it means to you to have him back for one more year and be able to you know, have that relationship with him for another year? Well, he's such a good decision maker. We want, we want to put the decision in his hands as much as we can. Um, and you, you know you have to have a lot of trust in your quarterback to, to, to give him that responsibility. But there's really nothing uh, that we're not willing to let him uh, read on the field. 
Coach, first time here in the finals for you as a head coach. I mean, was it everything that you thought it was going to be? I mean, I know the outcome didn't work out the way it be, but it had to be a nice buildup for this. Absolutely. You know, we talked with our kids about there's a 100% chance the experience was going to be awesome. But the game is separate from the experience. We want the game to be awesome as well. So uh, it's a bittersweet thing right now. It was a great experience. The opportunity to, to play in this game, the opportunity to put a silver medal around your neck uh, is awesome. And, and we're going to be very proud. We're going to have a lot of great memories of, of this moment. Uh, but at the same time, we expected to come out and win the game tonight. We're disappointed by that. We will be for a while. Um, but we're going to get over it, and we're going to have a lot of great memories to look back on. Jackson, can you speak to the punch, counterpunch aspect of the, you know, the, the majority of this game and just your mentality is, you know, Westlake scores, you go right down and score again, same thing happens, back and forth sort of um, game there. Yeah, we knew it was. Uh, we knew we had to fight. And it was gonna be a close game, and you know we couldn't. We couldn't give up either. So as soon as they score, especially coming out of halftime, we knew that you know we had to drive the ball down the field and go score again just to keep it keep it a close game. Jackson, obviously you said two years ago you know, just kind of thrown the water into this game, but what does it mean to get back to it uh, with your teammates this season? I mean, it meant everything. That's all we worked for this year. I mean, that's all we all we preached this year. You know. Every time we broke out with a team, it was state champs on three. So it just meant everything to get back to this game. What does it mean to you that you played like a star tonight instead of your freshman year where no one said a nice thing about you? I don't think I played like a star tonight, but I think, uh, I, think I feel better knowing that I played a lot better than I did two years ago. So. Coach, from your vantage point, did Westlake do anything different schematically in the second half to get Jaden Greathouse open because he really ripped the top off the game in the second half? I'm not really sure if I have a good answer. I'd have to go back and watch the film. Uh, we gave him a lot of single coverage tonight. We had to, we had to load the box um, and we had to play. We're, we're, not, we're, we're very talented in the back end, but we're not a big man cover team. A lot of people think we are. We're not a big uh, risk-taking team in the back end. We had to be tonight. We had to play a lot of man coverage. And I just think, you know, over the course of time, a player of his caliber is going to get loose and make a few plays. I think the last touchdown, our corner tripped and fell. That's, a, that's one of the, um, the downsides of playing man coverage. You know, you trip and fall, and, and, and it's over. So uh, quarterback made some great throws, by the way, too. You know, yeah, really did. Two best quarterbacks uh, I've seen all year playing in this game tonight. Thank you, guys. Congratulations. Yep.